Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC11 at the Mellanox booth, and I'm here with Glad Shaner. Glad you are director of HPC. Senior at, director at, of HPC at Mellanox. Yes. Terrific. So we're here to talk about three things. You know, uh, first of all, FDR is it shipping? FDR is shipping. Uh, FDR is already on the top 500. There is multiple systems on the top 500, um, and as far as I saw, those are the most efficient systems on the top 500. Uh, one of them is in Purdue, for example. Uh, which is the smallest node count that achieved uh, 187 teraflops on the top 500. That's uh, number 54. There are other systems on the top 500 utilizing Infinib and FDR. So FDR is shipping. It's providing uh, um, th uh, bandwidth numbers of more than 12 gigabyte per second throughput, uh, reducing the latency by half to uh, less than 0.7 microsecond latency. And we're already showing application cases where you get more than double the, the application performance. So yes, FDR is the new deal. Um, it's ready and people uh, uh, can go and start deploying Finib and FDR um, as well with Peace Express uh, 3.0 support and build the most efficient systems. Well, that's terrific. So the other big thing we were talking about was a new concept to me, this virtualized GPU. Yes. What's that about? Yes. Um, so if you look on how GPUs are being used or being used before, is that if you want to run in a GPU application, you run a GPU application from a server that has a GPU inside of it. So it, the GPU and the CPU and the application were tied together. In order to expand the usage of GPUs, you wanted to bring GPUs to be more as a service, as a resource, rather than something that needs to be in every server that you have. Um, and what we work with a few of our partners, universities of Valencia, the Swiss, super, so, Swiss supercomputing centers, um, and a couple of other partners, is the ability to separate the GPU and the server or the application. So you can run uh, a, a GPU application on a server that doesn't have a GPU inside, and the virtual GPU interface will go and allocate GPU that exists somewhere else for that application. The application will use it, and then it's going to release it. So, so, so that's enabled by the InfiniBand, the low latency and the high Of course. Bandwidth. So once you go to remote GPUs, first you increase the, the, the utilization of GPUs. Second, you, you make GPUs a service. Like you go to Luster or centralized storage, now it's much easier to use GPUs. It's more accessible by others. And of course, once you got to that, the, the essence of throughput and low latency become important because you don't want to lose the performance gain of GPU. And this is exactly where InfiniBand FDR plugs in. If you look on 12 gigabyte per second throughput, you look on latency less than seven, less than 700 nanoseconds latency, that's become something that enables you to use remote GPUs without uh, sacrificing, sacrificing performance. Terrific. So I remember the third thing was about expanding the, the InfiniBand ecosystem in HPC. You're not only just doing MPI, but now you've got Shmem and the PGAS yes. working. So what's yes. that? Yes, so MPI or Shmem, uh, Open Shmem or PGAS are different communication libraries that are, uh, uh, exist or being used in high performance computing or for high performance computing applications. Um, so InfiniBand is doing great on MPI applications. Mellanox have provided a lot of optimizations for MPI. Um, and we announced now that we extend the capabilities of InfiniBand or bring the, the, the performance and the scalability and efficiency of InfiniBand into uh, other communication interfaces such as is uh, Shmem and Pigas. Uh, we're working with multiple uh, partners of us. We're working with uh, Oak Ridge National Lab and some other folks in order to really bring all the InfiniBand goodies uh, into those communication libraries. And now we can offer, or now we offer uh, scalable MPI, scalable Shmem, and scalable Pigas, which are solutions for those different communication libraries that enables to get, to get the, the best efficiency, uh, efficiency for those, uh, those applications. Terrific. So I'm going to throw a loop at you here. There's been some new systems announced, Big Ten, Petaflop, things like Blue Waters. How does InfiniBand play with some of these big systems that are on the horizon? So you can look on the top 500, InfiniBand is one of the strongest players um, on the Petascale. Um, if you look on the 10 Petascales that exist today, um, three of them are Cray, two proprietary, and five are InfiniBand. So half of the Petascale systems in the world are InfiniBand. Um, um, and if you look on the top 100 systems on the top 500, majority of them are InfiniBand. So InfiniBand is a very strong player there. There were multiple announcements already for uh, next year, big systems uh, that are going to use FDR. 
Um, NCOR, National Climate Research, uh, did an announcement. LRZ in Germany is going to build a, a new one. And there's a few others, some of them already announced, some of them are not. And those will be uh, some of the leading supercomputers uh, that we're going to see next year. That's exciting.